Audi A5 plug-in hybrid shocks everyone with a bigger battery than the first Nissan Leaf. Hey everyone, welcome back to EVpedia, your go-to source for everything exciting in the world of electric vehicles. If you've been watching our videos but still haven't subscribed, let me ask you this. Why? That's like buying EV and never plugging it in. So do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share your thoughts in the comments. And to all our loyal EVpedia followers, you are the heart and soul of this channel. We appreciate your support more than words can express. Now buckle up, because today's topic is something you don't want to miss. So, what if I told you that a plug-in hybrid, yes, a car that still relies on gasoline, has a bigger battery than the original Nissan Leaf? Sounds wild, right? But that's exactly what Audi has done with the new A5e hybrid, proving just how much battery technology has advanced over the years. The hybrid that's playing in the big leagues. The Audi A5e Hybrid is here, and while it may not be breaking records for all electric range, it offers something that can make it an appealing option for those still on the fence about transitioning to a fully electric vehicle. This plug-in hybrid can drive up to 68 miles on pure electric power, which is impressive for a PHEV. Under the hood, you'll find a 248 horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged gasoline engine working in harmony with an electric motor that's neatly sandwiched between the engine and the 7-speed automatic transmission. This setup allows the A5 to make use of Audi's famous Quattro all-wheel drive system, which remains operational even in electric mode, a rare feature in plug-in hybrids. And here's something that might surprise you. The A5e hybrid's battery is actually larger than the original Nissan Leafs. Back when the first mass-market EV, the Nissan Leaf hit the roads, it came with a 24-kilowatt-hour battery in a range of around 70 to 80 miles. The A5e Hybrid, on the other hand, packs a 20.7 kilowatt hours usable, 25.9 kilowatt hour gross lithium ion battery, making it a plug in hybrid that can genuinely function as an EV for short commutes. More than just a hybrid, it's a statement. Now, let's talk performance, because Audi wasn't playing around when they engineered this one. The electric motor alone produces 140 horsepower, but when combined with a combustion engine, you get two different power levels depending on the model you choose. The base version makes 295 horsepower and does 0 to 62 miles per hour, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, in 5.9 seconds. The higher performance model cranks out 362 horsepower, which puts it right in the league of Audi's sporty S6 model. This version can sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5.1 seconds. Not bad for a plug-in hybrid, right? But that's not all. It has a top speed of 155 miles per hour, 250 kilometers per hour, and can drive in full EV mode up to 87 miles per hour, 140 kilometers per hour. This means it's not just a slow-moving hybrid meant for city commutes. It actually has a muscle to back up its looks. Charging, what you need to know. Now, let's address the question that every EV and hybrid owner wants answered. How long does it take to charge? The A5 PHEV supports up to 11 kilowatts AC charging, a significant improvement over Audi's older plug-in hybrid models, which maxed out at 7.4 kilowatts. If you plug it into a compatible charger at full power, you can go from 0% to 100% charge in just two and a half hours. That's not bad at all. But of course, this is still a plug-in hybrid. So you'll have a gasoline engine to rely on when the battery runs out. However, Audi has gone to great lengths to make sure you can maximize your time driving on electricity regeneration, and smart hybrid features. One of the biggest upgrades in this new model is how regenerative braking works. Compared to older plug-in hybrids, the A5e hybrid can recover more energy while slowing down up to 88 kilowatt of power, helping keep that battery topped up without needing to plug in as often. There are multiple Regen braking options. One, automatic mode, uses navigation data and road signs to adjust braking. Two, Manual mode allows the driver to set different Regen levels using the paddle shifters. 3. Coast mode level 0 lets the car coast freely when you lift off the accelerator. This kind of control is something we usually see in full EVs, but Audi has now integrated into a hybrid, which is a welcome addition. Fuel efficiency. How does it stack up? With a full battery, the A5e hybrid is incredibly efficient. According to WLTP test cycles, it achieves... 117 to 87 miles per gallon, 2.0 to 2.7 liters slash 100 km with a full charge, 37 to 31 miles per gallon, 6.3 to 7.4 liters slash 100 km once the battery is depleted. 
That's pretty impressive for a vehicle that still carries a full combustion engine under the hood. Luxury and tech, because it's still an Audi. Now, just because this is a plug-in hybrid doesn't mean Audi skimped on the luxury and tech. In fact, they packed in some really cool features, especially for those living in colder climates. The A5e hybrid comes with an electric air conditioning compressor and a resistive heater that can warm the cabin even when the engine is off, just like a fully electric car. Want even more comfort? Audi offers an optional auxiliary climate control system, which allows you to preheat the seats, steering wheel, and even the glass panels before you step into the car. Price and availability. Of course, a premium plug-in hybrid like this doesn't come cheap. Here's what you're looking at in terms of pricing. A5 sedan e-hybrid starts at $67,300, €62,500. A5 Avant Wagon e-hybrid starts at $69,000, €64,150. High-performance versions from $76,300, €70,900 to $78,000, €72,550. Audi has open order books in Europe, with deliveries set to begin next month. However, there's no confirmation yet on whether the A5 PHEV will make it to the U.S. The sedan version seems likely, but the Avant Wagon? That's a tougher sell in the American market. My take, does this plug-in hybrid make sense? From my perspective, the Audi A5 e hybrid is an interesting bridge between combustion cars and full EVs. For those who want a taste of electric driving without fully committing, it's a solid option. The fact that it has a bigger battery than the original Nissan Leaf speaks volumes about how far plug-in hybrids have come. But what do you think? Would you consider a plug-in hybrid like this? Or do you think it's just a stopgap before we go fully electric? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Final call to action. Stay connected. If you made it this far, you're a true EVpedia supporter, and we appreciate you more than words can say. If you haven't already... Hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share this video so more people can join the conversation. And if you want to show extra love, that super thanks button is right there. Stay charged, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.